guys, I'm Dr. Inky, your DJ Skin Doctor, and welcome to Skin Fix, the platform whereby we educate you everything about skin. Now today, it's going to be a little bit different. No education about skincare ingredients or skincare products. We'll be reacting to videos found online. And more importantly, today's video, we'll be reacting to Pony Syndrome Nighttime Skincare Routine. And this was featured in 2018 on Harper's Bazaar. Now, Throughout the whole video, I'll let you know whether the skincare routine is right, whether there's anything that we can actually improve on, and what is the take-home message. All right, let's start. I like her hair. Go to bed with Pony, yeah? Nice. Nice 자, 이제 저의 나이트 루틴을 시작을 해볼 건데요. 첫 번째 단계로 리베나이 리무버를 사용을 해볼게요. 꾹 눌러주세요. 한 10초가 지나면 지그시 좌우로 살짝 누르면서 내려주는 거죠. 그 다음. Alright, first things first. Lip and makeup remover. Especially if you have makeup over the face and especially around the eyes. So, I like the process whereby she put it on a cotton pad and then she left it on her eye for a couple of seconds. And in this video, it's up to 10 seconds. It allows the surfactant or the cleansing agent from your makeup remover to actually get into the skin and remove as much makeup as possible. And when you're doing over the eye, I understand that a lot of times you want to rush it and tend, we tend to put a lot of pressure over the eye. But the eyeball is a very sensitive organ. Apply too much pressure and you might cause a whole load of health issues in the future. So, if you're removing makeup around the eyes, do it gently. Next up, she removed eyelash extensions. Now, eyelash extensions is important to remove because generally most eyelash extensions are put in place by a glue. And believe it or not, a lot of people actually get eye infection due to the glue. And I've seen in some cases, allergic reaction due to the eyelash extension glue. If you have an eyelash extension, try not to leave it overnight. It's always better for your skin's health if you remove them. Removing makeup. A very common question and a lot of people ask, must I use a oil remover to remove my makeup or can I use a water base? But generally, most makeup is best removed using an oil makeup remover. And I like her routine here, whereby she gently rub it into her skin in circular motions for half a minute to one minute before rinsing it off. And right before you rinse off, I would like you to wait for about 10 to 20 seconds because you want the oil to really, really mix with all your makeup before you actually wash it off. Next up, cleanser. Now this is what we call a dumbbell cleansing step. First, using an oil makeup remover, and secondly, using a cleanser which is suitable for your skin. Now, unless you have an acne-prone skin, most of the time, I highly recommend a low pH cleanser and especially a cleanser which is very close to your skin's natural pH of roughly about 5.5 to 5.7. Gently just rub it in for about half a minute to a minute and then rinse it off with water. And always remember to dry it up with a towel. Next, 
아닌 것 같아요. 보이진 않지만. <웃음> 자 여기서 세안이 끝난 게 아니고요 마지막 스텝이 하나 더 남아있어요 바로 녹찬물 패딩인데요 먼저 피부랑 비슷한 온도로 스킨을 발라주기 전에 녹찬물로 좀 피부를 디톡스 시켜주는 단계거든요 근데 저는 이 단계를 매일 하진 않고 한 일주일에 세번 정도 하는 것 같아요 지금처럼 이렇게 붉은기가 가끔 피부가 민감한 날 올라올 때가 있거든요. 이런 날 이렇게 녹차로 패딩을 해주시면 되겠죠. 가볍게 흐르는 물만 닦아내주고 나머지는 손으로 두드려서 흡수를 시켜주세요. 물로 헹구실 필요가 없어요. 다음에는 얼굴... Now this is a very interesting step. She used green tea powder and she mixed it with water. And then she used it to actually wash her face. Now, green tea has many benefits for health and especially for skin. Now, green tea is a known anti inflammatory and antioxidant ingredient, which would then help reduce blemishes, redness, and if you're suffering from sensitive skin, it helps actually calm down and soothe your skin. However, one of the issues that I have here is after putting on that green tea infused water, she didn't actually use any cleanser or anything to rub to wash it off. Now, green tea, if you didn't mix it properly and it comes in clumps and you left it in your skin for long periods of time, can be irritating. Now, if you, want, if you really want to use green tea, my, may I suggest to invest in either a green tea serum or a green tea cleanser, which already has green tea extracts and you do not have to go through this entire routine of mixing green tea with water to wash your face every night. 증발하기 전에 미스트를 뿌려줄 건데요. 역시나 음, I'm not a big fan of facial mist. I always find that facial mist is a skincare gimmick. Now, what is facial mist? It's actually aerosolized water. So basically, it's just no difference than just putting water on onto your skin. Or if you want this, if you really like the whole facial mist part, you can actually save money and uh, put it into a spritzer and then just spray on your skin. Now, water doesn't really actually do anything for your skin. It doesn't hydrate, it doesn't, it doesn't have additional ingredients or additional benefits. So, you can give this a pass. 좋습니다. 자, 그 다음 마스크팩을 사용을 해볼 건데요. 제가 맨날 사용하지는 않는데 일주일에 한세번 정도? 짧게는 15분, 길게는 30분 정도 있다가 떼주시면 됩니다. 꿀이나 아니면 바나나처럼 좀 윤기와 보습을 같이 줄수 있는 영양을 좀줄수 있는 성분을 좀 제가 좋아해요. 수분감도 없고 특히 윤기를 잃은 날에 이거를 붙여주면 진짜 피부에서 꿀광이 나요. 꿀광. 음, 완벽하게 잘 붙은 것 같아요. 말은 하기 힘들지만 <웃음> 위에서 아래로 가볍게 제거를 해주세요. 와 진짜 윤기 대박이죠? 스킨 단계인데요. Sheet masking 2 to 3 times a week is a great way to make sure your skin is well hydrated. And choose the sheet mask which is suitable for your skin and your skin only. 패드를 사용해서 닦아내듯이 해주셔야 얼굴에 남아있는 타올의 이물질이라든지 먼지들까지 깨끗하게 정리를 하고 목도 얼굴이라고 생각을 하시고 같이 연결해서 닦아주세요. 자, now, before we move on to the next step, she used a toner after her sleeping mask. If it was me, I would have swapped it the other way because toners are generally more aqueous and it's more lightweight. Hence, you need to use a toner first before you use something a little bit heavier like a serum or a sheet mask. So, if she would have used the toner first, then only the sheet mask, I would have approved it. But because she used it after, and then she used a cotton pad, the cotton pad would have removed the benefits or the additional serum, which is left behind by a sheet mask. So definitely a no-no. Cream. 두드려서 완전히 보송보송해질 때까지 패팅을 해주시면 돼요. 이 정도면 피부에 하는 나이트 루틴은 다 끝난 것 같고요. 제가 자기 전에 꼭 하는 두 가지 스텝을 지금 밟으러 가고 Now before we proceed to the end of the video, I like the fact that she used only a small drop 
of moisturizer at night. Now, one of the myth is the more moisturizer you use, the better it is for your skin, right? Wrong! There is a limitation of how much moisturizer that your skin actually absorbs and actually needs. So most of the time, just one fingertip unit is more than sufficient. And if you have a large face like mine, you can use two fingertip units and then apply on your entire face. Make sure you apply it evenly and use the moisturizer which is suitable for your skin. <laughs> 그리고 자기 전에 저는 꼭 큐티클 오일을 손톱에 발라주는 편인데요. 아무래도 손이 많이 보이는 직업이다 보니까 이 네일 아트랑 큐티클에 항상 신경을 쓰게 되는 것 같아요. 저의 마지막 루틴은 바로 립밤입니다. 끝나이. Two amazing last skincare steps where a lot of people tend to avoid. First of all, cuticle nail oil. Now, our nails is made up of mostly keratin. Now, keratin itself is actually waterproof and you do not need to apply anything on it. However, in some cases whereby there's lack of certain vitamins, and when that happens, the keratin layer actually is exposed and hence your nails become overly dehydrated. So by a applying cuticle oil on your nails every day, either if it's during the daytime or nighttime, will actually help repair the nails much quicker. So if you want a healthier nails, definitely use cuticle nail oil. And also the final, final step where even I myself skip is lip balm. Lip balm is important whether you're living in a hot, humid place like Malaysia or a very cool and dry place. And especially in places in Asia whereby we love to sleep with the air conditioner on, prolonged exposure to air conditioning air is dry and it can give you cracked lips. So applying lip balm before you sleep is definitely one of the best methods to prevent chap or cracked lips. Now a few good things I like about her routine, makeup remover, cleansing oil, and she used a good cleanser. However, some of the steps that I feel that you can skip is that whole green tea water thing on the face just use a green tea extract cleanser or a green tea extract toner. The next thing that she could have changed about her skincare routine is to use the toner first before the sheet mask. However, some good takeaway points. Use sufficient moisturizer and do not overuse them. Cuticle oil before you sleep and definitely lip balm every day. All right, guys, that's the end of our video. I hope you like videos like this. Let us know in the comments below what other videos you would like us to react to. And don't forget to turn on the bell button because we release new videos on a weekly basis. And more importantly, subscribe to our channel because it helps the YouTube algorithm understand that you like skincare educational videos. That's it from me. I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor. And always remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay informed. Are you tired of wasting time and money on your skin, but nothing works? We are here to help. SkinFix is a platform that provides personal care education completely free. SkinFix is run by skin doctors and skincare experts. You can chat and consult with our skin doctors without ever leaving your home. Other than free advice, SkinFix also provides tailor-made solutions for your skin problem with customized medical-grade skincare delivered right to your doorstep. SkinFix, your digital skin doctor.